I'm a money magnet Draped in designer, I stay high fashion Tissue bougie, know I'm high maintenance What's up with the Charles Big Boss coming back with another video? Okay, so this past couple weeks, I found myself in a lot of different rooms handling a lot of business, right? My dude Martin, he's an actor. He was inside a lot of movies and his first feature film premiered yesterday and I went there. I also had a meet up with another investor for my cologne bottles. Um, then I also had a meet up with his real estate agent to go look at this house. With that being said, them type of environments is environments I know I had to be real serious. I knew I was taking care of business. I knew I couldn't really play around. I knew I had to be alert and really pay attention to every single detail to make sure I don't really miss nothing or get finessed out of some good money, on, okay, some money. So these are fragrances that evoke good business, um, mature men, grown man, strength, these fragrances that I'm about to show y'all today is fragrances that I wear when I'm not trying to play around, when I want to get taken serious, and when I'm trying to be on my A game, okay? First fragrance I want to talk about, you probably got this in your collection now, is right here. It's time for Unre Leather. Now, why do I like this scent? I like this scent because I remember going to the liquor store maybe like eight, nine months ago. And one of the bouncers, like the security guards that was kind of like operating at that corner store had Andre Leather on. And I already had it in my collection, but I never found myself grabbing it and putting it on. But I'm saying, bro, when I walked into the store, you can smell this man, okay? I'm talking about the projection on Andre Leather is one of the furthest projecting fragrances I've ever smelled. So don't overspray with this fragrance. And if you want to know what this smells like, it smells exactly like a leather car, like leather interior of a car, leather couch, a leather jacket. It smells just like leather. That's very manly to me because leather reminds me of like biker men, biker jackets. And it's nothing sweet about a dude riding a motorcycle and being in the biker gang. This is like the Biker Gangs fragrance. That's kind of how I look at this, right? Now, let me talk about this baby right here. This is Blue de Chanel. Now, this is the Parfum, okay? The Parfum is the most masculine version of all the Blue de Chanel's. So if they was to come out with an elixir, we will understand that that fragrance right there will be very, very masculine, especially if they don't lean more towards like the sweet realm. They keep it real woody and aromatic now when i smell bloody chanel i just want to put a suit on i just want to wear my turtlenecks i just want to wear my chelsea boots i want to wear dress shoes bloody chanel is like the fragrance for like a lawyer i can just imagine every lawyer wearing bloody chanel and lawyers take care of business you can't i would be very scared to have a lawyer that's playing around and playing games. Rudy Chanel is very important. Now, let's talk about this right here. Creed Aventus. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, Creed Aventus do not get a lot of compliments from women in my studies. It gets a lot of compliments from men. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. If a man likes your scent and you smell good, a man is going to respect you and just take you a little serious on the simple fact that you are in a cologne game. And I know you guys out there understand this. If you smell another dude with cologne on, you instantly feel connected to the dude. Like you instantly feel like that's that's my home. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that dude know how to be fly. He's smelling good. He wanted the good ones. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. If you ever see a man and you a man walking down the street or walking to a store and he's well groomed, well dressed, you just instantly respect the dude. It's like, nah, man, okay. He ain't playing no games. And I, that's kind of how I'd be. I'd be like, man, he ain't playing no games. This dude, he ain't playing. That's why when I see a dude, I'd be like, man, hey, bro, the suit fire. I, so I compliment a man. I'd be like, hey, man, that suit hard. Them shoes hard. Man, that cologne you got on, yeah, you doing it, bro. I'm about to hide my girl because you tripping, bro. You, you, you really kicking ass. I'm proud of you for not leaving out the house 
any type of way. I respect it, right? And that's me. Now, this right here, this is Polo Green. Look at that bottle. This is the old school bottle too. Um, Polo Green is not a fragrance that I wear a lot, but I smelt it on other men. But the men that do wear it, it's older, okay? They're like in their 50s, 60s, 70s. It smells like them old school aftershaves because it's that pine cone evergreen type of smell. That's probably why they call it Polo Green, but the fragrance right here is very masculine. I only seen real granddaddies wear this fragrance. I just can't pull it off because I'm a little too young. Now, right here, we have Jasada's Ambassador Intense. Yeah, this smells like a more sophisticated Dior Sauvage Elixir. Dior Sauvage Elixir still got that, like, that little bit of spicy sweetness to it. This one is a more powdery, musky, especially on a dry down. I think Jasada did a big one when they picked this fragrance up. I also had Jasada hit me up recently for a collab. So when you see me with their new titanium fragrance, they did send it to me, but I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. Okay, right here is Dior Sauvage Parfum. The parfum, just like the Bloody Chanel Parfum, Every scenario that I wear the Blue Chanel Parfum is the same scenario I will wear the Your Sauvage Parfum. I would just alternate it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. The Your Sauvage Parfum is very underrated. People, I don't know, man. It's like people crap on this fragrance, but you know, I don't relate to a lot of people. Yeah, you know I mean, another fragrance I want to talk about that's very mature, bro, right here Paco Rebond's Golden Ooh. This fragrance is the manliest one million out of all of them. See, every one million that's up there, if you don't like one million, it's probably because it's too sweet and you feel like I ain't really rocking with them speed fragrances. I want something more tough, more rugged. This is that tough, rugged, like one million, okay? It might be hard to find. I had a pick, I picked up this bottle when it first came out. It was coming in from overseas, bro. So it was hard for me to find, but I think it might be in the States by now. Just gotta Google it, figure it out. Now, I'm gonna show you these two decans because I don't have the full bottle. So I'm gonna show you these two decans that my reviewers, you guys sent me. This right here is called Dolce Gabbana Velvet Amber Sun. Don't overspray with this fragrance. This fragrance is also a really good masculine scent. Just don't overspray. You'll be coughing and sneezing, right? I really like that by Dolce Gabbana. And this one is time for old mineral or mineral or mineral. I'm probably for sure butchering the name because I didn't look at no reviews for it. But I really tend to find myself picking up this fragrance anytime I'm putting on something really sophisticated. And I'm like, I need to go outside and handle some business. I'm grabbing this sample and I need to hurry up and do a full review. Because it's like I said, this is just a little sample decan my uh, subscriber gave me. I'm running out. So if y'all see a review pop up, now you know. The last fragrance I want to talk about on this list is one of the, it's the sweetest one of all of these. And it's this Killian. Let me see if I can get it to focus. But this is this Killian's Black Phantom. This is probably one of the greatest date night scents when it comes to you want to get a girl, you want to impress a lady, you want to put this on, okay? This smells like a chocolate musky cake. And that's, it's just great, you know what I mean? Um, this list up here, very good list. All different price ranges, like you can find Polo Green for like 60, Creed Adventures for like 300. You can find this 1 million for like 150, 150. Maybe you might find this Jasada like a hundred time for it. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a very expensive list, I can say that. But you want to smell like a man, and usually guys that's very mature, they bank ain't lacking. So uh, I don't think you got to even talk about that in that department when it comes to not having money. But um, that's all I got for you guys. The really mature fragrances that I like. I need some more compliments. So I need y'all 
go in the comments and let me know what masculine fragrances that you wear. Whenever you going outside and you wanna to go to an interview or you wanna handle some business, what fragrance are you grab? Because you're not grabbing date night fragrances to go handle some business. I know you're not, okay? I love you guys, I'm Big Boss. Y'all take it easy. I'm